If you're trying to troubleshoot a vibration problem, here are the top six things to check. Number one, check the spinner. It sounds like a simple suggestion, but there's a lot that can go wrong and spinners are a common problem. First, if the spinner can move at all, it's a problem. Even the slightest displacement can cause tremendous aircraft vibration. We often find loose spinners and each time the engine is started, the spinner can find a new home position and induce vibration. If you're using a balancer and the phase moves from run to run, this is a very likely culprit. Second, the back plate cracks are telltale signs of spinner imbalance problems. If you suspect the spinner is out of balance, remove it and lay it on a table or bench and see if it rocks or seeks a home position at a heavy spot. If it does, balance or replace the spinner. Number two, check the blade track. It is important that both blades rotate in the same plane. If they are out of plane, it will cause vibrations and is indicative of other critical issues. First, disable the ignition. Second, remove one set of plugs so the prop can be rotated smoothly and without rocking the plane. Third, position a box or other flat surface directly under the blade with a piece of paper taped on the top. Fourth, make a mark on the paper in the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. This is used as the stop point for each blade. Fifth, rotate each blade until it is directly over the stop point and mark the longitudinal position of the blade on the paper. Note the difference in track. The difference should be less than 1 16th of an inch. A great resource for checking blade tracking is an EAA video featuring Dick Kohler showing how this process works. You can see the link to this video on the screen. Number three, check the blade pitch. Blade pitch needs to be consistent from blade to blade or aerodynamic imbalance will result in propeller vibrations. A simple way to verify pitch is by using a low cost digital protractor. Number one, level the blade horizontally using the digital protractor held against a straight portion of the blade. Number two, position the protractor vertically at the blade tip. Usually, the back of the blade at the tip is flat enough to get a good reading. So place the protractor on the back of the blade at the tip and record the angle. Note that some prop manufacturers recommend verifying pitch at two-thirds length. Number three, repeat for each blade and compare angles. The angles should be consistent blade to blade within a half a degree. Note, if the back of the blade is flat enough, measure at several points called stations along the back of the blade and check for consistent twist blade to blade. Brian Carpenter from Rainbow Aviation Services has a video also available on the EAA website that shows how to check blade pitch and you see the link for this video on the screen as well. Number four, check for weak cylinders. Not all vibrations are caused by rotating imbalance. Although an advanced balancer like the Dynavibe GX2 can tell a weak cylinder from a rotating imbalance, most people cannot. So number one, check plugs for fouling. Number two, check the differential compression of each cylinder. Number three, inspect the cylinders with a bore scope at least every 100 hours. Number four, balance carburetors if applicable. Number five, check the motor mounts. Motor mounts and vibration isolators take a lot of abuse and degrade with age. Here's how to check them. Number one, inspect all bonded sandwich mountings for metal to rubber bond separations. Flex cracks, rubber deterioration due to exposure to fluids, and mechanical damage such as cuts in the rubber surface. These are what you're looking for. Number two, visually inspect all bonded steel parts for cracks and excessive nicks, scratches, or gouges. Number three, inspect all nut locking wires for looseness and tighten as necessary. When applicable, measure all drift indicators in each mounting assembly for excessive deflection. Number five, whenever any of the conditions detailed above in steps one, two, and four are found, remove the mounting assembly from the engine, disassemble, inspect, and repair as described in the maintenance manual. And number six, some engine airframe combinations require specific mounting hardware. 
Check all AD and service bulletins to verify that you have the correct mounts, washers, and adapters installed. And number six, check the dynamic balance. Props are statically balanced at the factory or during overhaul, but that does not mean that the assembly is balanced once mounted on the aircraft. Simply unmounting and remounting a prop can result in an imbalance just from very small changes in prop alignment. It takes just 60 grams of mass imbalance at the hub of most general aviation aircraft, and much less than that out on a prop blade to reach the FAA vibration limit that requires a static rebalance by a prop shop. A prop balance by a mechanic usually costs around $250 to $350. Afterwards, your plane may feel like a totally different aircraft. Dynavibe prop balancers are surprisingly affordable. You can own a Dynavibe balancer for under $1,500 and check the balance or rebalance your prop assembly anytime it's needed. RPX Technologies offers the Dynavibe Classic prop balancer and the Dynavibe GX2, a second generation balancer with full vibration spectrum analysis capability. To learn how to dynamically balance your prop or troubleshoot complex aircraft vibration problems, visit our website www.rpxtech.com, contact us by email at sales at rpx.com, or call us at 469-708-8779.